unique uh, circumstances personally. Uh, um, but now I'm right where I'm supposed to be and uh, an opportunity that I'm grateful for. Really happy to be uh, alongside these guys and this group and this team. It's very special. And um, the opportunity is, is uh, one you need to cherish and enjoy and just look forward to whoever we get next. Eric, no, no team has ever had to beat three 50-win teams, 310-point teams in the first three rounds. And I know the points have changed. The format's changed a bit over the years. But you get the point that you guys are doing something that a path that no team has ever had to navigate before. Is it kind of fitting that that's the path for this team, that it's pretty much the hardest one possible? Yeah, I, I mean, to be honest, it, 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 I think for our, our guys, we, we, just, we just come to play. We love, we love coming to the rink. We love being around each other. We love competing. We've got a group of guys that care a lot for each other and 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 come out just to play the game. We don't really care who it is against, where it's played. Um, we just we just play, and that's what I think it's been so fun to be alongside this uh, with these guys because that's the feeling and that's the thought. No matter the situation, no matter the time of the game, no matter what's happening out there, and um, whoever we got next, we'll be we'll be ready to play. This is for Nick. Uh, as jacked up as you guys had to be last night, how difficult was it to, to go to sleep? And then also coming in today, was it business as usual, or what was the mood like? Yeah, I mean, I think last night was tough for everybody to kind of get settled after that. I mean, that emotion, emotional night that we had. I think, um, I mean, yeah, coming in this this morning, it's all about recovery, um, business as usual, and I mean, we get to enjoy it today and. Look forward to uh, whoever we get. This question is for both you guys, um, and especially for Eric, because you're, you're more of the veteran guy. But this team seems very battle tested, right? I mean, four one goal games. Um, like Tim said, three best teams in the Eastern Conference. You, you had to go through. I mean, how much confidence does that give you guys that in any situation you, things are going to find their way? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've been kind of in this situation, in this scenario since January, to be honest. Like, we, um, with where we were at, we, we, we felt like every game we went into, we had to win. And uh, we didn't win every one, but we got ourselves off the mat as quickly as we could to try and win the next one. And, and I mean, it's a simple explanation, but the reality is we, we would – go game to game, game to game, game to game for a really, really long time. And that's kind of where we've been at for um, for a, the last couple months, and we're comfortable in that and confident in that. We trust each other's abilities, and um, we just go out to play wherever it is, and whatever the situation is, we'll be ready. And that's not going to change as, as we move on to the next round. Uh, for Nick, I think only three guys on the team have ever played for the Cup before. Did that make last night that much sweeter when you have so many guys in one room that are about to play for the Cup for the first time? Yeah, it does for sure. I think um, you know, guys are just excited for the opportunity. I think uh, it was nice to do it on home ice too, give our fans a little bit of a treat. I think well, we, the last two series we won on the road, so um, it was a fun building for sure. The fans were energetic; they were into it. Um, obviously, nice to see. Um, you know them on on our on our home ice, and um, it's nice to see all the boys in the locker room and smile on their face. And um, you know we're not done yet, though. Uh, Eric, um, you know uh, if I can flash back twenty years ago, two thousand three draft. You know I'm struck by you sitting behind a Panthers logo right now. I think a lot of us, when the Panthers traded that number one pick, thought that <clears throat> they were going to take you, and obviously they took Horton um, because you know they they moved back to three. Um, was there any part of you that wondered if you were going to be on this team uh, back then and, and just what you think 20 years later that you are here? It, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, at that time, for sure, I, you know, I thought, I mean, I knew, um, you know, a young guy, I knew I was going to be, I'm interviewed with all those teams, all those, those top couple teams, I knew I was going to be a higher pick. Um, I had good interviews with Florida and, and Carolina and, um, I guess they they were high on Nate at the time, and, and they did the flip flop. But I was excited to end up where I did, and and just getting a chance to play in the NHL was a dream of mine. Didn't really care at the time where or how or 
uh, just wanted that opportunity and chance. But <laughs> definitely uh, looking back that long and being where I am right now, it's pretty unique and, and uh, uh, special nonetheless. Uh, lucky to have uh, have caught on with this group and these guys and, and uh, be able to join the way I did, especially after you know last year. And um, it's uh, grateful and, and, and fun and um, things happen for a reason. And, and here I am in, in this moment with these guys and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for it. Eric, you touched on it a little bit, but you've you've won a cup before. You've been lucky enough to be in multiple cup finals. For guys that haven't been there before, what would be the advice that you would give? And I know over the course of this run, you guys have really stressed as a team that you have to go through and enjoy these experiences to maximize what you're able to accomplish. What would you tell guys who are going to it for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it'll be probably discussed by... Um, by more, but for, for me, it's there's a lot of there's a lot of I'd say distractions. There's just a lot of action all around it. But at, which is what what I love about this team and what we've been all year is is there's there's going to be so much things all around everything. But at the end of the day, we got to play the game, and and that's all we've done all year. That's all we've done since, especially since January, is is we just come to play the game. And I think um, our guys will be. You know, focusing on that and 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 enjoying that part of it. That's the best part of it. The best part is playing the game, getting on the ice. You know, the atmosphere, all the extra attention, the cameras, all that stuff will be there. But the best part is playing, and and that's that's what our team is. That's what our guys are. Um, they know that. But I guess that's the the most advice I would have. The best advice I would have is 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 enjoy that part of it because that's the best part. That's the part you'll you'll miss when it's over is, is the is that actual playing part but um it's special when you're doing it along with uh guys you care about eric you've been around a lot of good players <clears throat> and part of some good runs but this run that chucky is on is it kind of unlike anything you've ever seen with all these clutch goals and is he pretty unique i guess as, as a leader uh, among guys you've been around yeah he uh i mean everyone's witnessed it pretty uh Pretty special. Uh, so many, so many moments. Um, s s you know, all, all year it wasn't even just playoff run. If you followed our team, like we, he scored a goal in Washington that was massive. We had to win that game, and he he scored it, um, and you know, basically ensured those two points for us. And so that that wasn't. This hasn't been the first, second, third, fourth. I don't even know how many times, but there's been so many moments where, um, and and I know the the type. Now seeing him and the player he is, like yeah, this is going to continue for him. This is this is who he is. This is he's not afraid of these times or these moments, and that's what makes him special. Is he he just keeps playing. He's comfortable. He knows who he is. Uh, comfortable in his skin, and and these are moments that he's built and made for. And um, it's a treat to watch and a treat to play alongside. And um, I'm expecting big things and more things out of him as we continue on. Yeah, and same for Nick. I mean, he's got three game-winning goals on the final three shot. I mean, the final shot of the game in one series that's a sweep, that's a one goal every game. I mean, have you ever seen anything like that? I mean, you're on his line. You're seeing it up close yeah. and personal. I mean, no, I haven't seen it. I think, um, I mean, just kind of like what, what Eric said, I think the bigger the game, the bigger the moment, the better he gets, I think. I mean, he's done it all year. He comes up big when, especially, I don't, not even just goal. If it's a, a momentum change, a hit, a, um, just something like that, just to get the momentum back on our side. It seems like he's always in the mix of it, uh, of it all, and um, we're really lucky to have him. I've really enjoyed getting to know him this year as a as a as a person as well off the ice, and um, he treats every teammate the same, every equipment manager or even every equipment, every training staff the same. Um, just the way he goes about his day-to-day -day business, we're, we're certainly lucky to have him.